Okay, so the moment for update for Windows 11 is here and it brings many new features to the Windows 11 version 22H2. And all these new features are actually from Windows 11 23H2, which is the next major version of Windows 11. And it is going to release very soon. And you can also say that this new update for Windows 11 22H2 is actually half release of Windows 11 23H2. Now let me show you guys all the new features that you get with this update. And later on this video, I'll show you guys how to get this update as soon as possible because some of these features are just insane and amazing. So you really want these once you see them. So now let's jump into it. With this update, finally, we have a co-pilot for Windows or you can say AI assistant. You can perform a task. You can ask it to open certain application in your computer, just like that. You can also use your microphone to give a command and you can also upload image to get more information from that image. This is still in beta, so you can expect to get more features in the future. Windows settings app also got updated. Now there is a new home page or tab where you can quickly access some recommended settings and you can see some other info about your PC. Taskbar also gets a new feature or you can say old feature because this feature was removed. So this is basically a combined taskbar buttons and hide labels. By default, it is set to always, but you can change it to when taskbar is full or never. So I am actually not a huge fan of this. So I actually like the default one just with the icon. There is a new Windows backup application and it looks simple and you can backup your Windows settings, apps, folders, documents, even Wi-Fi networks and passwords. So if you ever reset your PC or reinstall your PC, you can restore all these settings, apps, or document whatever you have backed up to your reinstalled Windows. With this update, you'll also see that we have a new modern looking file explorer. And there is a new feature called gallery where you can see all of your photos, images, and details side panel is also updated. Now I'm gonna show you guys the real good new features. So let's start this with the notepad. Starting from this update, you'll get a new notepad update and it will automatically save whatever you type. When you close the notepad, it won't ask for anything. But if you reopen notepad, you can see your texts are saved. You can also use multiple tabs, type whatever you want. You can close it. And if you open notepad again, all your tabs and texts are there and obviously you can also save them as a text file if you want to and it's finally time to say goodbye to the winrar or 7-zip because starting from this update windows 11 officially supports rar 7z or other archive formats so if i go into view and see the file name extension i enable it you can see this is a rar file and you can see we can just simply double click and we can browse this without any other third party apps. Snipping tool got a huge update. Now you can extract texts from the images. There is this option called text actions. If you click on it, it will scan for the texts that are present in your image and then you can simply highlight them, copy them, or you can copy them all. If you do a video recording using snipping tool, it will also record audio. Photos app also got a new feature. If you go and edit any of your picture, there is a new feature called background blur and it is AI powered. Just click on it and it will analyze the background and it will blur out the background and you can also do some settings blur intensity you can also you know custom select the background using brush this is actually a really cool and effective feature that just works it's amazing you should try this out the paint app also got a huge update and i think this is one of my you know favorite feature in this update that is background removal there is a little button if you hover your mouse on it it will say remove background just click on it make sure that your image is there and you can see it works flawlessly and it is ai powered this is just fantastic feature you can also add layers but as of me making this video i don't know why i don't have that 
layer option yet. Maybe it's a bug or something like that, but yes, there are two new really cool features in Paint app, background removal and layers. I don't know how many of you guys use the clip champ in Windows 11, but this is actually a good video editor and this is actually the official free video editor for Windows 11 and it has a new feature and it is powered by AI. So the new feature is create a video with AI. If you click on it, it will give you some options. It will ask you for title. It will ask you to drag and drop images, photos, videos, whatever you have. And then you can choose a style, length, and then it will automatically create a amazing looking video for you. There is a pass keys feature uh, you have to go to accounts and then pass keys. Using this, you can sign into apps and websites without a password. Instead, you can sign in using your face, fingerprint or pin through Windows Hello. I actually didn't know how this thing actually works. So I asked the Bing chat. So it looks like website and app needs to support pass keys. So that's that. Well, there is one more feature while I was editing my video, this video that you're watching, it looks like sound mixer is back. Yes, there is a new toggle here right next to the volume slider. If you click on it and just scroll down a little bit here, you can see the volume mixer. Thank you, Microsoft. And that's it. These are all the new notable big features in Windows 11 22H2 latest update. Now let me show you guys how to get this update as soon as possible. Actually, this update was available in September 26, but you have to do something to actually get it right away. Go to Windows update settings and then in here you have to turn on this option. Get the latest updates as soon as they are available. If you turn this feature on and check for update, you'll get this update early. If you don't turn this feature on, you, you'll have to wait maybe a few more weeks to automatically get this update without turning this feature on. And this is the new update that you need to get and install to get all these new features. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or if I have missed any features that I should have mentioned in this video, please do the comment. Don't hesitate to point out that KB, you missed this, come on. <laughs> so I'll be like, yeah, I forgot to mention this feature or I didn't know about this feature. And I will thank you for letting me know that there is a, such a feature. But I think almost all the features are covered in this video. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.